Hello, everybody, and welcome to our uh, end of outages announcing our GA of our dual core SIM offering. Um, I wanted to kick off. Uh, my name is Hope. I am a member of the marketing team, and I am here to introduce our co founder and CEO, Ben, for this exciting announcement. Hey, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, if uh, if you're around and want to come off camera and join me, sounds great. If not, just want to listen. That's cool too. Um, but uh, very excited to be with you all today uh, and talk a little bit about dual core uh, and our outage proof connectivity offering that's coming to market today. Uh, so just to start out, uh, you know, for those of you who are unaware, I'll kind of give a quick background on hologram, our mission, our story, and then why we built dual core, and then you can take questions um, as things progress. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, you know, Hologram's, you know, Hologram's been around for about 10 years now, uh, and our mission is to empower innovators to build the future anywhere. Uh, and what that looks like is providing cellular connectivity and software for uh, people who build those devices and manage those devices. Uh, we're horizontal, we power connectivity uh, for a variety of applications, uh, you know, worldwide, uh, huge presence, uh, not just in the US, but internationally. Uh, and you know, consistently at the top of customers' lists uh, for why they're interested in choosing us for a cellular connected product uh, is reliability. Um, you know, many of you are operating mission critical applications. Um, many of you's businesses depend on uh, those devices to generate revenue, and so outages uh, and downtime can be a huge deal. Uh, and you know, we've been pretty unsatisfied with most of the solutions that have come to market. Um, I think people talk a lot about being the most reliable, um, but don't necessarily uh, engage with the challenging technical aspects of the problem uh, or provide any real guarantees in the form of like an uptime SLA or contractually guaranteed outage protection. We wanted to change that. Uh, and that's where dual core uh, is coming from. So let's dive into what it actually is really fast. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so outage proof connectivity. So to start, just a quick overview of all uh, the SIM options that Hologram provides. We have four, roughly speaking. Uh, we have single core SIMs. Um, and so these are going to be uh, more like, you know, your global single core SIM, which is going to be your sort of traditional roaming uh, SIM where you're able to operate across 470 networks worldwide. 170 plus countries automatically switch between those operators depending on where the signal is best. We're going to be able to give really good custom flexible solutions that are going to be really, really good for global deployments um, and just deployments that need um, you know, redundancy and, um, and flexibility. Um, within those single core SIMs, we're also going to offer performance single core SIM. So this is going to be a lot more focused, um, currently available in US, Canada, with a couple other markets coming soon. This is where we're going to give you native operators, tier one operators on a SIM, uh, and you're going to have extremely low latency. Uh, you're going to get things like data sovereignty, just excellent, excellent performance uh, uh, and excellent economics, especially when you get into high data usage applications. Uh, that's that's really what the performance single core SIM is for. Now we're adding these dual core SIMs to our lineup, right? Uh, and so the idea here is that we're going to give you similar uh, options, right? We're going to give you a flexible option, a global dual core, and we're going to give you a performance option, performance dual core, but we're going to do so in a way that provides, uh, you know, ultimate reliability uh, and ultimately give you the ability to uh, have a SLA uh, for 99.95% uptime uh, and contractually guaranteed outage protection. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about how that happens and how this actually works. So, when we talk about single core SIM, right? You know, we've got an EUIC, all our SIMs are EUICC enabled, but this is gonna be single core, right? So we have a, a profile uh, and you've got your your carrier profile and then you're connecting to local carriers, right? If one of those carriers goes down, let's say there's a localized outage, then you're gonna connect to another carrier and that's great. You're gonna get a lot of redundancy out of that. Um, that's typically what people talk about when they talk about carrier switchover, uh, or redundant options, but there's still this sort of choke point, right? 
right here with the actual mobile core and even further upstream, a lot of the infrastructure that's being run uh, by various different, you know, GRX providers. Um, and if that goes down, then you're going to have a failure point. And it doesn't matter that, you know, you can roam onto 470 networks because the core infrastructure is still a single point of failure, even in most of these paradigms. When you hear people talk about, you know, redundant switchover through a roaming profile, or you're talking about even multi MZ options, a lot of times they all suffer from this same uh, issue, which is that there's going to be a single point of failure with their actual provider's mobile core, and then even further upstream uh, with a lot of the infrastructure that's being run. Uh, and so this is where dual core kind of comes in, right? You know, how can you solve for that more fundamental problem? Uh, and typically speaking, right, when there is an outage uh, where the actual infrastructure or the core or some infrastructure further upstream is down, that's going to be a, a pretty catastrophic outage, right? A localized outage, tower going down, something like that, usually is fixed pretty fast. But when you see these more catastrophic outages, because of the complexity of these mobile cores and the various different service providers involved, and truthfully, the, the lack of kind of skin in the game in terms of solving the problem, these outages can stretch on. They can be really, really, uh, they, they may be infrequent, you know, maybe once every two years, three years, right? But when they happen, they happen and they're, and they're big. Uh, and that's what we're seeking to prevent uh, with dual core. And so uh, two options, right? We have this sort of single carrier concept giving you Verizon direct access in the United States, as well as the ability to fall back onto a global network, which is going to be AT&T, T-Mobile, 400 more options, right? Uh, and th that's what we call sort of a network fallback. Um, this is going to give you excellent performance in your market of choice. Uh, and then the reliability and redundancy to fall back uh, if needed. It's basically, you know, an insurance policy. Uh, on the other side here in Teal, uh, we have what we would call sort of like our dual core, um, uh, our dual core sort of global option. Uh, and here we're going to give you two global network providers uh, that are going to each have access to over 400 networks in over 200 countries. Uh, and there's going to be the ability to switch between those. So if there's ever a infrastructure issue or provider outage, we can hop back between each one uh, and prevent uh, catastrophic downtime. And so just to illustrate what that looks like, here's the dual core SIM uh, with a 99.95% uptime SLA. Uh, and you've got uh, the ability to operate on two different mobile cores. Uh, and so hologram is multiplexing between those two for you. Uh, and that's a big part of what the dual core SIM is providing. Uh, same thing here, uh, we're, we're giving you now the ability to uh, multiplex between two roaming provider mobile cores uh, and provide a huge amount of uptime. And so if you end up in a scenario where one of these cores goes down, we just switch over to the other core uh, and it's all good. Your devices are going to stay online. And so we've just launched this today. Uh, we'll talk about it a little bit more uh, as part of the webinar, but you can always check out hologram.com for information on this uh, and outage proof cellular IoT connectivity. I'm super excited to be bringing this to market. I think it's a huge problem out there. Uh, and it's something that is going to really give folks confidence in their ability to deploy mission critical applications, uh, confidence in their ability to know that those devices that are generating revenue for them are not going to go down, uh, even in sort of, you know, black swan tail events. We've got you covered. Uh, that's the whole idea behind this. Uh, and with that, uh, I'll stop the presentation and we can take any sorts of questions. Great. Thanks, Ben. Um, as you all saw, I just put in the chat. Uh, if anybody has any questions, feel free to throw them in either the chat or the Q&A and we will address them. We have a couple uh, that have come in. Um, we've gone over how does it work from a, a technical perspective, but uh, the next question that we have is how much of a premium will someone be paying for the dual core SIM offering? Yeah, it's a great question. So, you know, a lot of it's going to depend on, you know, the overall economics of your deal. If you're going to be a low bandwidth consumer or sorry, a low data usage consumer, um, or if you're going to be a high data usage consumer, 
It's also going to depend on the markets that you need to operate in. Um, if you're going to be choosing that sort of like, you know, performance option, or if you're going to be choosing that not performance option. Um, overall, it's going to be, you know, a per device uh, fee. Um, you can think of it like an insurance policy to some extent. Um, but uh, for specific pricing, we recommend that you reach out to the sales team uh, and uh, we'll be happy to kind of quote you out, uh, you know, for uh, for dual core and, and, and share pricing in more detail. Uh, it's a little bit bespoke at the moment uh, for those reasons. Um, and I think that's the best way to handle it. Great. We talked a lot about 99.95% uh, .95 SLA. Um, we believe it's first to the market to do that. But what about the 0.05% that isn't covered? What does that mean? Yeah, it's a, great, it's a great question. I mean, you know, we, we would always love to get 100% in everything, uh, right? Um, you know, I think when we think about uptime, whether it's API uptime, um, you know, cloud provider uptime, uh, whatever it might be, you know, we're always trying to increase the number of nines um, that uh, we can provide. 99.95 represents about 20 minutes per month uh, of downtime. Um, so very, very, very small amount. Uh, and uh, over time, we're looking to continue uh, work on uh, improving that so we can get to, you know, ideally 99.99 and, and beyond. Um, at the moment, you know, we want to make sure that, uh, you know, we're able to overpromise or sorry, underpromise, over deliver. Uh, and 99.95 is something we feel really, really confident um, that the technology will support. Great. Uh, we got a question in the Q and A. Do you man manufacture these sims, or do you get them from another company? Uh, so we we uh, the actual sim supply chain itself is the I, su I suppose the sims themselves, the actual plastic is is manufactured. Um, you know, in, in a not by us. We don't own the manufacturing facility. We source them, um, and a lot of what's happening uh, here is we're uh, combining sort of like our special sauce technology uh, on, you know, your normal sort of uh, SIM card. Each SIM card um, is uh, built to sort of GSMA spec, runs a little Java applet um, inside of it. Uh, and we've got technology that's running inside the app, inside the SIM, uh, on the cloud, in our dashboard, uh, and all of that coming together uh, to allow you to have what we call sort of our dual core hyper SIMs. Um, so it's, it's a combination of uh, factors. Uh, another one came in. Uh, is this meant to just cover the middle infrastructure in IoT applications, or will this grant any sort of better network diversity? That is, with a single core sim, if AT and T goes down, my stuff should just fall uh, fail over to TMO. Is that correct? Uh, yes. So, so I think that the important uh, distinction is probably. Let me pull this slide back up just to kind of illustrate this. Yeah, so by default, right, you know, this is something we've always offered, you know, since we started. Um, you're gonna have a certain amount of redundancy uh, built in and that's not changing, right? Uh, if there's a local outage, so outage, let's say the tower is out or even, um, you know, the actual, uh, if, if the, the tower's out or even further upstream, there's an issue with AT&T, then yes, that SIM, even if it's single core, is going to move over to TMO. Uh, or, you know, for example, right, you know, you could be anywhere in the world and it could be across a bunch of different networks. Um, what we're providing uh, in terms of redundancy here is sort of a secondary layer um, that's going to guarantee that you're never going to see an outage uh, because we're going to have dual core options, right? So, so we're protecting against this global roaming fail point right here. This would be a scenario where, um, let's say, like, the, you know, you're on a, a roaming SIM, right? So the roaming SIM is, is a single profile. It's connecting back to an operator. That operator is then getting you access to AT&T, T-Mobile, etc. AT&T goes down, the operator with this uh, UICC or sorry, the operator with this profile is still up. You're able to switch over to TMO. But let's say that the operator who is actually providing you with the roaming ability goes down or some of the infrastructure that is handling that roaming switch over goes down. 
then you're going to be in an outage scenario. Uh, and that's where you have a single point of failure. And that's where we're, we're going to be providing two cores so you can switch between uh, those providers. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful. I have a couple other slides that might make it a little more clear. Uh, but the, the whole the whole idea here is that even if you think that you have complete redundancy because you have a uh, a roaming sim that has a bunch of has access to a bunch of different carriers, if the provider who is giving you the roaming sim has uh, an infrastructure outage, uh, then you're going to be down uh, for for an indefinite amount of time. Uh, and so this is uh, designed to uh, prevent that scenario from occurring uh, and allows us to give you contractually guaranteed outage protection um, because we're kind of covering all the bases as it relates to redundancy. Great. Uh, does the functionality of the dual core SIM get limited by the cell router it is inserted in? In other words, can the cell router block the full functionality of a dual core SIM? So I think, you know, device specific behavior is going to vary. Uh, and, you know, that's why we've got a, uh, you know, phenomenal sort of solutions engineering team uh, that can support in making sure that these SIMs are compatible with whatever hardware you have. Um, you know, without knowing the specific piece of hardware, it's hard to know exactly what the behavior would be. But the goal here, uh, you know, we've tested these SIMs across a variety of different uh, types of hardware is that this should be compatible with whatever you've got. Uh, what happens in Australia if there is an outage to G1 profile? My understanding is that the G2 profile has roaming restrictions there. You know, I actually don't have, uh, I, I think that's a question that would probably be better for our support team. Uh, I don't have the specifics on uh, what the, the different profile failovers would look like for Australia. Right. But we'll follow um, up with you on that for sure. Yes, Chris, we'll follow up with you. Uh, what's the difference between dual core and multi-carrier? I think we've covered that a little bit, um, but I don't know if you'd, you'd like to cover that again. Yeah, just, just for avoidance of doubt, right? You know, when people talk about multi-carrier, I guess the, the important thing is there's a single, on the SIM card, right? You've got a profile and that single profile is connected somewhere to a mobile core. Uh, and that profile can have access to a bunch of different carriers. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a multi-carrier profile, or even when people are talking about multi-MZ, sometimes that's kind of how it functions, right? You've got a singular mobile core that's running a bunch of different MZs. Uh, and in this scenario, we're going a, a, a step deeper in the infrastructure layer. Uh, so that way, the actual core itself of the mobile providers is uh, duplicative is redundant, uh, and therefore, um, you know, you you have, we have two on that single sim. You have two profiles that uh, both have access to you know over four hundred carriers worldwide, uh, or sorry, uh, yeah, over four hundred carriers worldwide, over two hundred countries, and you can fall back between those two. So the next question is, how does the SIM know that it's lost connectivity? It's a great question. Uh, yeah, so this this goes to, uh, speaks to some of the technology that we have sitting on SIM. Um, so we're able to tell uh, when a connection is down, uh, we're able to tell if there's been some weird behavior. I mean, actually, if you, if you check out, um, you know, the hologram dashboard, you know, we can give you a lot of uh, really detailed data on zero byte sessions and all sorts of stuff. Um, and we have, we have an update, uh, you know, coming in the next quarter as well, it's going to uh, service even even more detailed information. Uh, and uh, so we're able to see that, uh, and then we're able to do a, a failover uh, as necessary. Great. And then we have a couple more. Uh, can we manually change from one network to the other? And if so, how? Yes. Uh, so, so that is possible. Um, and I think it depends on your specific needs uh, in terms of which networks you want to access in which countries. Um, but it is something that uh, we can surface. Uh, and if you work with our sales and support team, um, we can we can get you what you need. 
Right. And then how long does it take to move from one network to the other? So in the construct where we're roaming, right, it's going to be uh, almost instantaneous in the context where there's an outage, uh, the applet will fall back within uh, 20 minutes. Um, so your day-to-day -day experience will be seamless transitions between networks. Uh, if there's an outage, uh, you, you may experience uh, up to a 20 minute switchover. Um, that's a big part of the reason for the 99.95 uh, SLA. Um, and that's something we're working on reducing, uh, but a lot of it has to do with sort of the mechanics of um, sort of the GSMA spec and the way that just profiles kind of operate. Um, so, so your maximum downtime is gonna be 20 minutes in the event of a failover. All right, looks like we have one final one and anyone have any last minute questions, please feel free to throw them in. But the last one we have is, can we confirm cell signal strength in D, uh, DBM on hologram platform? Uh, yes, I don't know uh, what DBM uh, means specifically in this context, um, but um, yes, we can uh, confirm. Oh, sorry, in DBM, I see what you're saying. Uh, in the units, um, yes, um, we can we can give you signal strength data. And then it looks like one last one rolled in. What about battery devices? Does it burn the battery faster? No, this is, this should have no impact on battery. Great. It looks like that's uh, all of our questions. Uh, looks like we're wrapping about 15 minutes ahead of schedule, but uh, Ben, I wanted to give it to you for any final uh, wrap up or um, just any kind of excitement that we have around the market and what this means um, and what you should expect from, from other uh, IoT connectivity partners. Yeah, no, I mean, th that's it. I mean, I think, you know, from when we started Hologram, you know, a big part of our goal has been to operate in a way that is super transparent, super reliable, uh, and give, uh, you know, our partners, uh, we consider all of our customers kind of partners, right? Uh, our partners, the best connectivity options available. Uh, and this is just a continuation of that. Uh, we're going to continue to innovate to make the product more and more reliable, more and more redundant. Uh, you know, give you good economics in the right countries, give you the right performance in the right countries, uh, and provide tech and tools on the back end for you to manage that. Um, you know, I think the next thing you can look for is probably some updates to our dashboard uh, and our APIs uh, that are going to continue to give you what you need to operate your fleets. Uh, and, you know, above all, um, I'm just really excited to be the first in the industry to be able to confidently say, hey, this is an SLA for uptime. Uh, this is, you know, contractually guaranteed outage protection. Uh, and so, uh, you know, as we move forward, uh, really looking forward to continue to innovate uh, with all of you. Uh, and if you have additional questions, uh, you can always feel free to reach out. Uh, my email is ben at hologram.io uh, and uh, I'm around. Uh, really, really excited to keep on building with you all. And, you know, if that's all we got, we can wrap early. Great. Thank you, everybody, for taking the time out of your day to uh, come listen to our special announcement uh, to answer any lingering questions. Yes, this was recorded. It will be distributed afterwards, and you can also uh, find it or send it to colleagues. It'll be on hologram.io under our resources and webinar tab. Um, but again, thank you for your time today, and uh, we look forward to seeing what we can all do together. Thanks, everyone.